Be on your guard, traveler. Now is no time for sightseeing. Oh, why is that? Has something happened? Yes. As unusual as this may sound, numerous eyewitness reports have confirmed an active Ruin Guard presence in this area, even though this is far beyond their normal area of activity. Sergeant sent someone to find out just where these ancient machines might have come from. It appears that they simply left their ruin and marched off all of a sudden, for no clear reason. So did somebody wake them up? As I say, the reason is still unclear. We have very little intelligence at present. Moreover, the ruin in question is of the especially spooky variety. Strange noises are often heard coming from within. As such, we are not permitted to investigate until the order comes through from headquarters. In any case, the only sensible strategy in the meantime is to increase Millilith patrols. We must not let innocent civilians come to harm. That's a good point. Ruin guards are probably pretty dangerous for regular folk. Wow. Uh, I'm very grateful indeed for the offer, but it just wouldn't be worth the risk. Oh, don't worry about that. This one beats up Ruin guards for breakfast. Is that so? Well, if you're genuinely offering. I did see some Ruin Guard footprints on the hillside, but since then I've been too busy warning passersby to investigate myself. Footprints, eh? Interesting. We'll take the case. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. On behalf of the Millilith, I salute you, Traveler. You have my gratitude. I will rendezvous with you once I have finished my patrol. Whew. This footprint is huge! It has to be the one that guy was talking about. And here's another one. Yep, seems the Ruin Guards did come out for a walk after all. A trail of Ruin Guard footprints leads us here to... Ah! A Ruin Guard! Over there! Well, that's one down. Let's keep looking around. Maybe we'll find some more. Hey, you! Check this out! Isn't it awesome? What is he wearing? I've never seen one this close before. Have you ever seen one? Um, excuse me. His name is Mr. Cyclops, actually. What sort of dumb name is Ruin Guard? Mr. Cyclops? Aw, oh, that's cute! Wait, what? Do people seriously call them that? Yep, my brother said so. And he's the best toy seller in the whole world. It's his job to sell this kind of stuff. Right now, he's at the Institute for Toy Research in Liyue. That's where Mr. Cyclops has come from. It's always nice to meet someone else who likes toys. So tell me, where'd you get your toy from? Must be a pretty new kind, huh? I've never seen one that can fly and talk before. Yeah! Paimon is not a toy! Greetings! Have you found anything? Oh... A child? Wh wh what's the situation here? We just, you know, found him. Uh-uh. You shouldn't be out here, boy. There are killing machines in the area. It's extremely dangerous. Killing machines? You mean... ones that look like this? Precisely. And including this one. It's not moving now, but if it were to wake up, the consequences would be... You take that back! Mr. Cyclops is not a killing machine! He's one of the good guys! Um... Mr. Cyclops? We shouldn't be talking to this guy. If he's saying mean things about Mr. Cyclops, he's definitely a bad man. I, I, I'm just trying to help. <sighs> I've always been hopeless at dealing with children. Well then, why don't you get back to your normal job and leave us to do the babysitting? <sighs> it seems I have no other choice. Very well. I will continue with my patrol. Please escort the child to somewhere safe. It's much too dangerous here. <laughs> the mighty Mr. Cyclops scared off the bad guys once again! My name's too, sir. I came all the way from Sneshnaya to look for my brother in Liyue. But I'm all on my own. 
And I don't know where to find him. You came all the way from Shneznaya? Oh, I think this is the part where I give you this. Here you go. What is it? Looks heavy. What the? My brother said I should take it with me. He said, find a nice person to give this to, and they will take good care of too, sir. Your brother makes a good point. Still, it's hard to believe you made it all this way armed with nothing but a few bags of Mora. Your family must be super rich. Paimon never knew you could make so much Mora from selling toys. Yay! Thanks, nice guy. All right. Now, we gotta make a pinky promise. You make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, I throw you on the ice. The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Wow. That one nursery rhyme kind of says all you need to know about Snezhnayan culture. Well, if we weren't your babysitters before, we sure as heck are now. But where should we look for your brother? Snezhnaya? Oh, how about the Northland Bank? Oh, right! Finally, now I get to see my brother! That seems a little inappropriate, don't you think, sir? How can you... Relax. Once in a while can't hurt. It'll be fine. Huh? What is he doing here? Yay! My brother! I found you! I know that voice. Why, if it isn't my little brother too, sir. My goodness! <laughs> what a nice surprise, Tuser. I thought I would have to wait till I return home before seeing you again. How are the others? Sister Tonia and Brother Anthon? Is everybody keeping well? They miss you a lot. Tonia prays for you every day at dinner. Wait a second. What are you doing here in Liyue, Tuser? How have I not heard anything about this? Well, what happened was... I saw a boat that looked like it was selling toys, so obviously I thought you were on board. And then, when I got off, I just kept walking and walking, and then... I found a Mr. Cyclops! Mr. Cyclops scared off a bad guy, and then I found this nice guy to help me come look for you. And also, Tuzer's child's brother? Cool, suddenly Paimon doesn't feel so bad about taking Tuzer's money. Too, sir, what you did was extremely dangerous. I'm so happy to see you, really, I am, but please, promise me you won't do anything like this ever again. <sighs> okay, I promise. Please don't be mad at me. <sighs> I'm not mad at you. I just care about your safety, that's all. If you hadn't met these nice people, things could have been a lot more dangerous for you, too, sir. I hope you said a big thank you to them. Yep. Always remember my pleases and thank yous. Oh, so you did notice we were here. You were just ignoring us. Gotcha. <laughs> Forgive me. It's always family first where I'm from. Don't take it personally. I know we've had our differences up to now, but a few minor quibbles aside, we get on quite well, don't you think? <laughs> Come on, you know I'm just a pawn in all that, just doing my part. As for who wins, who loses, and how each side deals with the consequences, I prefer to leave all that up to the ones playing the game. I'm much more interested in who wins and who loses when it comes to our little sparring matches. Hmm, sounds like you're ready to get your butt kicked again. Ha, <laughs> you're forgetting something about me. I, Tartaglia, spend every second getting stronger. Don't expect to have it quite so easy next time. Whoa, 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 whoa. You aren't gonna fight now, are you? <laughs> Maybe not right now. Not while my kid brother is watching. Why do you want to fight the nice guy? Are you guys enemies? No, not at all. Allow me to formally express my sincerest gratitude for taking care of my darling brother. His safety matters very much to me. Um, so anyway, Paimon has a question. Tuzer said something about you being a toy seller. What's that all about? Aren't you supposed to be one of the Fatui's harbinger? Ahem, uh, yes, about that. Shh, 
Look, I only told him that so that he'll look up to me. In the eyes of a child, working with toys must be the best job imaginable, right? I don't want my family to have anything to do with the Fatui's, or should I say Snezhnaya's, darker side. The older ones already know that I serve the Tsaritsa, but Tusser is still so young, and in his eyes... <sighs> As I was saying, I remain Snezhnaya's greatest expatriate toy seller, currently attached to the Liyue branch of our Institute for Toy Research. That's right! My brother's the greatest! He's Mr. Cyclops' bestest friend! Just humor me in front of two, sir, if you would be so kind. Ah, uh, yes, Ekaterina. I will deal with the issue of that outstanding payment right away. Hey! Slinking off, are we? But, Master Child, would it not be a little improper to ask you to deal with debt collection? A bet is a bet, isn't it? And if you lose a bet with an agent, <laughs> well, you might as well get a little exercise out of it. Are you going off to sell toys now? That's right. As much as I'd love to catch up a little longer, Tusser, duty calls. I'm sure Mr. Nice Guy here will be happy to keep you company while I'm out, though. Ah, <sighs> so we still need to keep babysitting for you? Sure, I really like this guy. And anyway, he made a pinky promise to take good care of me. Ah, well, it sounds like Tusser really likes you, and that you've already made a pinky promise to take good care of him anyway. Then I'm in your debt. Here, take this as Tusser's entertainment fund. I want him to have a good time while he's in Liyue, so take him anywhere he wants. If need be, you may find me by the river near Qingxiu Pool. I'll see you both around. Looks like we'll be hanging out with Child's kid brother for a while. So, 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 where are we going to play first? Um, how about we start with the toy store? Huh? What are those super colorful winged things? They're called kites. The kids in Liyue love them. Hello there, dear. You look like you've come a very long way. Uh, let Granny guess. From what you're wearing, I would say... Snezhnaya. <laughs> That's right! How do you play with these kite things, Granny? When the wind picks up, you let out the string, and whoosh! The kite will fly into the air, up, up, and away. Wow, that's amazing! Do you have any Mr. Cyclops ones? Mr. Cyclops? I'm sorry, I... I want to fly Mr. Cyclops high into the sky so all the kids can get to know him! Well, I can do custom builds, but I'll need some amount of reference material. Will this picture do? I drew it myself. I bring it with me everywhere. Hmm... I'll manage. Still, I must warn you that custom builds can really be quite expensive. Ah, uh, we should be fine. Child was pretty generous with that entertainment fund. Um, but then again, throwing money around willy-nilly is, you know, kinda irresponsible. Well, um, so, yes, technically speaking, these funds are earmarked for Tooster's Entertainment. But if there's any leftover when we're done... Either way, it's time to talk prices. <sighs> fine, fine. I've neither the time nor energy to bargain with you at my age. <laughs> I suppose this price will do. <laughs> Thanks, Granny. Worry not. Just leave it to me. For our next stop... Why don't we head to a one-man restaurant? It would be a mighty crying shame to come all the way to Leela and never try the food. Hello, welcome. Table for three? <sighs> this restaurant has a really... choking smell. A 
choking smell. Oh, you must be referring to our signature spicy chili scent. Spicy chili? But I... can't eat spicy food. Oh, what a pity. A person who can't eat spicy food misses out on half of life's joys. Is it really that bad? My meals have to have lots and lots of sugar, and the oil has to be extra virgin vegetable oil. Wow, we've got a real rich kid on our hands. Looks like Wanman Restaurant's dishes aren't to Tucer's taste. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Will that be all? Any more special requests? Uh, what do you mean, Chef Mal? <laughs> Giving the people what they want is the very reason Wan Min Restaurant exists. If I thought for one second that I couldn't make a dish to satisfy this child's taste, I would have absolutely no business calling myself a chef ever again. Whoa, there seems to be a lot of professional pride riding on this. Then we'll leave it to you, Chef Mal. We'll be eating here after all. Sure. But let me say this first. Special requests are going to cost you more than normal. <laughs> of course, we aren't going to demand prices anywhere near as exorbitant as the likes of Lili Pavilion or Sunya Kiosk. Is it just Paimon? Or are premium custom orders in fashion lately? Still, <laughs> surely there must be a little room for negotiation, right? <laughs> oh, you folks. Uh, let's go with this then. Any more haggling and we'll ruin the other customers' appetites. <laughs> Thanks, Chef Mal. Please sit wherever you like. Your food will be here shortly. Ooh, it was a little too sweet. Paimon feels a little sick. <sighs> I thought it was just right. Almost exactly like how my sister Tonya makes it. But this doesn't feel right somehow. Didn't we bring Tucer here to try Leela's specialties? Eh, whatever. So where do you want to go next, Tucer? I was so caught up looking for my brother when I first got here that I didn't get a good look around. Good idea! The hustle and bustle at the wharf is a specialty of Liyue Harbor, too. Wow, this place is huge! And there's so many people! Are the waves here always like this? Don't they ever freeze? Uh, given Liyue's climate, the area around the harbor's mouth probably never gets cold enough to freeze. Paimon is kind of the traveler's exclusive personal tour guide. But since this is a special occasion, Paimon can make an exception to help Tucer get to know the place. This place is Leela's commercial hub, and it's been the biggest port in the Seven Nations ever since it was decided that Leela would take on the world through trade. Other than merchant vessels, many fishing boats and industrial transports dock here to replenish their, uh, fishery supplies and daily necess necessities, which, thanks to the immense throughput capacity of the wharf, um, uh, yeah, Paimon can't remember how the rest goes anyway. Well, guess Paimon will just have to explain this Paimon style. So this harbor is like Tavat's mouth, and it's the biggest mouth you've ever seen. All the nations float their boats over the sea into the mouth. The harbor goes om nom 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 and has a taste of each boat and the cargo it has on board. Then, Lyra Harbor rubs its big round belly in satisfaction because it's all stuffed full of delicious mora. Hey, what's that big metal hook over there? I want to see. Wait, Tucer, don't run off. Uh, after all that, he wasn't even listening. That metal hook is huge, and it gets bigger the closer we get. This is an anchor. Docked ships use it to hold themselves in position to stop the wind and waves from blowing them away. Hmm, <sighs> an anchor. Got it. But I think I might get it mixed up with Commodore Hook. Commodore Hook? Is this another one of your weird toy names? 
My brother always sends me a really big toy for my birthday. Commodore Hook, Black Steel Jack, I and Tony, we keep them all in our backyard. Yeah, and that's why I can't bring them with me all the time. It's a shame. Wow, using Fatui funds for personal gain? To think Snezhnaya would let their harbingers do that. All for some giant toys. But suddenly, it doesn't seem so strange that Tusser would treat a ruin guard as a giant toy. But my favorite has to be Mr. Cyclops. Even though I mostly came here to see my brother, the other big thing I wanted to do was play with Mr. Cyclops. Oh, are they selling fish over there? Let's have a look. Hey! Quit running off! Is this where they sell fish? Wow, the fish here in Leo are so small. Hey, whose fish are you calling small? Little kids shouldn't go around ruining others' business. He's just a curious kid. No need to get worked up. That said, these fish are actually pretty big by Paimon standards. Just how big are the ones you're used to, too, sir? Um, maybe 200 times your size? There are legends in my hometown about it. It's supposed to be a super delicious fish. I told my brother about it, and he went out to sea to catch one for me. A few days later, he returned with a humongous fish slung over his shoulder. Anthon and I were so happy. Are you sure that was a fish? Paimon thinks it sounds more like some sort of leviathan. Hey, Mr. Nice Guy, let's go over there to see the boats. <sighs> What's wrong, Tuser? Are you tired? You don't seem so happy. I miss my brother. What? But we were just with him. Yeah, but for such a short time that it doesn't count. Take me to see my brother. I don't want to play anymore. Ah, <sighs> yep. You can have all the patience in the world, but it won't help you at a time like this. Well, we've played with Tusser long enough, haven't we? Paimon thinks we've tried our best here. Child said that he'd be by the river near Qing Shu Pool. Why don't we look for him there? Yay! Let's go, let's go! Found him! There's Child! Wait, he's talking to the treasure hoarders? You know what I'm here for, I trust. Oh, you got lip. Making us guess, are you? If you want to join up, let me just say this first. Dandy kid like you, you ain't welcome. Uh ho, -oh, what a commendable imagination. Well, in the Tsaritsa's name, I suppose I should forgive you, country bumpkins, for your ignorance. For I am. Brother! You're selling them toys, aren't you, brother? That's so cool. I've always wanted to watch you work. Uh, well, why, yes, of course. For I am a. Uh... The greatest toy salesman in Snezhnaya. Uh, so cool. Huh? You playing games, pretty boy? So, will you buy or not? The toys that Snezhnaya produced three months ago will run you, yes, 600,000 mora to be paid in full. T toys? And <laughs> how much money? Wow. Is that what it's gonna cost to fix that head of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Spreading joy and laughter to everyone! That's what toy selling's all about! I'll say it again. Toys from Shnezhnaya, three months prior, 600,000 mora paid in full. Yeah, no. Sorry, salesboy. The same joke isn't funny twice. Or were you always cruising for a bruising? <sighs> All right, then. I'll make things a little easier for you. I'll join the treasure hoarders. Perhaps you'll be more willing to pay when we're brothers in arms. <laughs> Would you listen to yourself? You think we just let any old person into the treasure hoarders? I'm not so sure you could hack it. <laughs> well, then. Why don't you put me to the test, dear seniors? I like to think of myself as quite talented in the field of treasure hunting. Hmm. <laughs> 
Looks like you're not gonna pack it up until someone packs you in. All right, then. Show us what you got. Truth be told, we've set up a shop here because there's a fine little loot cave nearby. But the treasure hasn't been easy to get at. We've been at it for two days now. If you think you're up to snuff, why don't you have a crack at it on our behalf? Of course, that means that once you got it, it's ours. Don't try to sneak off with the prize now. <laughs> Come on. If we can't do it, do you really think this guy stands a chance? An initiation test, eh? Interesting. It's been a while since I've been assessed by someone else. The loot's on the opposite cliff. We're gonna hang back here and watch the show. Huh, no problem. Don't blink, though, or you might miss it. Well, I have the goods. Here you go. So how'd I do? Pretty well, I'd say. B brother what do we do? This fellow isn't normal. Please, hold on a moment, sir. We need to discuss something amongst ourselves. He ain't here for an initiation. He just wanted to show off. Honestly, we'd be no match for him if he wanted a fight. Guys, do you think that maybe... we're being robbed? I don't know. Surely, he wouldn't have come here all dressed up like that if he was only after us. Unless, maybe his words have hidden meaning. Snezhnaya, three months, 600,000. Oh, I get it. It was insider talk. I remember that the boss took out a 600,000 more loan from that Snezhnaya bank about three months ago and still hasn't repaid it. So this guy must be the debt collector. But why didn't he just say so? What's with all the toy talk? <laughs> and that's where you're still green. See, in a lot of professions like this, people speak in code to protect the privacy of their business partners and clients. Makes sense. Owing money is pretty embarrassing. This guy isn't one to mess with, I tell you. He's a professional. Way too professional. So, Mr. Salesman, my apologies, but we can't have you joining us. Oh, I didn't pass? I must say, I never imagined that the treasure hoarders would have such strict entry requirements. No, it's not that. What we mean is that you're too big a fish for our little pond. But we fully understand the situation with the... Uh, toys, sir. We'll fetch that 600,000 for you right away. <sighs> I see. Well then, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. We get paid, and everyone stays happy. A wonderful outcome, wouldn't you say? Uh, yes. Uh, couldn't agree more, sir. That's my brother for you. Toy sellers are so cool. Ah, Master Child, you're here. A new batch of fresh recruits have just... Hey now, keep your voice down. Can't you see I'm entertaining some clients over here? Clients? Uh, well, anyway, the Motherland has dispatched a new batch of recruits to Liyue. They've just arrived, and I'm afraid we must trouble you to speak to them. Ah, do I have to? Now is hardly the best time. I must apologize for troubling you, Master Child, but they are already waiting for you south of Lingju Pass. Every new batch of recruits must be baptized by the Tsaritsa's will, through the words of her harbingers. This has always been our rule. At present, Master Child, you are the only harbinger in Liyue. Please, everyone is standing in formation and waiting for you to bestow this honor upon them. <sighs> well, all right, then I'll go. Just give me a moment to catch up with my brother, and I'll be right with you. Do you have to keep working? Yes, too, sir. We have a group of new toy sellers fresh in from the motherland, and I need to go teach them the ropes. Wow, that's great! When I grow up, I want to be a toy seller, too. Can I go listen? Hmm, I'm afraid you're still too young to, sir. I'm not sure if you'd understand much of it, and most of it's rather boring anyhow. Why don't you go play with the Traveler instead? Sound good? But, but... I really do have to go now, too, sir. A lot of people are waiting to see me. 
I'll see you around, all right? Child really dotes on his brother, but now he's got to ditch him again. Must be a really tough job. Yeah, you're right. He hasn't done himself any favors with the whole toy seller cover story. To think he'd go this far just to prevent his family from seeing his dark side. Maybe, but he has good intentions, doesn't he? Wait, uh, where's Toozer? Uh, we were too busy chatting. Where'd he go? Did he sneak off to follow his brother? Either way, let's head over there first. Toozer, so you did come here. Shh, quiet. My brother's giving his speech. From this day forward, you will honor the oaths you have made to Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, and you will stop at nothing to bring Snezhnaya victory. You shall sweep through this land like the icy winds of the furthest north, as strong as the hoarfrost of Zeppeljarni Palace. You will chill the very marrow in our enemy's bones. Her Majesty expects of you loyalty, ruthlessness, and meticulousness. For the trials that we face are harsh, and our enemies are like... Uh, and like kites and rattle drums who shall become redoubtable foes of Mr. Cyclops in the marketplaces of Liu. Uh-huh. Kites are really fun, too. This is, of course, an analogy. As they say, the marketplace, too, is a battlefield. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Hmm? So as your sales manager here in Liyue, I demand that you obey my every order. A refusal shall be considered a betrayal, and the price for betrayal is to be dishonorably discharged from... <clears throat> uh, from the Liyue Institute of Toy Research. Whoa, that's really strict. Won't people be really sad if they get fired from the Institute? Huh? Uh, uh... Seeking to please everyone pleases no one at all. Time to try something else. Forget it. Perhaps a round of hands-on training will suit us better. Hands-on training? After all, uh, a strong body is the proof of one's capacity. Hey, did... Did he just say that we're doing hands-on training? A harbinger wants to spar with us personally? Oh, what an honor! I can't believe it. Are recruits like us really worthy? Am I hearing a hint of objection to this idea? Not, Not at all, all, sir! That's the spirit! Now come at me, you lot! Well then, do you all understand what I said earlier? Yes, yes sir. sir! Excellent. And you all almost managed to get me limbered up. In other words, you've done well. For new recruits. Thank you, Lord Harbinger! <laughs> All right, hush now. <clears throat> now then, I wish you all glorious victory for Snezhnaya, for Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, and for yourselves. Dismissed! Brother! You are amazing! Oh, Tusser, what in the world are you doing here? There I was thinking that the Traveler had taken you to play at Wang Shuin. <laughs> Yikes, that's some terrible acting. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I never pass on an opportunity to improve my strength. I'm not the man I was when we first met. By that, I assume you mean that I didn't use the Foul Legacy transformation, yes? It puts a great strain on my body so it's best saved for crucial moments. I still haven't fully recovered from the injuries I suffered when I used it at the Golden House. Anyway, I'm no senora. I don't use lethal force against recruits. Come on now. The foul legacy transformation? Does it make you stronger than Mr. Cyclops? Uh, you could say that. I want to learn to fight too. I want to be cool like you! Now, too, sir, fighting isn't about looking cool. 
You can only continue to get stronger if you know the reason why you're fighting. I can teach you, but think carefully first. Why do you want to fight? I... Hmm? I... I want to protect Sister Tonya. That's a good answer, Tusser. When I return to Snezhnaya, I will start teaching you fighting techniques. Then you'll have to protect Tonya for me. How does that sound? <laughs> Leave it to me! You know, Tusser's a good kid when he's not being so stubborn. You've had a nice long time here in Liyue, haven't you, Tusser? Isn't it about time that you took the boat back home? But, 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 you've been so busy, and we didn't get any time to play together yet. Too, sir, you know I'm very busy at work, and hasn't it been fun traveling all over the place with a proper traveler? He's just worried he won't be able to keep up the toy seller act forever. Well, how about this? If you just do one little thing for me, I'll be a good boy and go back home. Oh dear, who taught this little devil to bargain? <laughs> All right, what'll it be? Take me to visit the Institute of Toy Research! Do you think he means that ruin that the Millilith was talking about? The one where all the ruin guards were coming from? Done deal. After all, you've come all this way for me too, sir. As your brother, it's only right for me to grant you one last wish before you leave. Exactly! <laughs> um, are you sure this is a good idea? It doesn't seem like the best place for kids. You should come along too, Traveler! This time, it's Tusser's turn to take you sightseeing! Hmm, let me think. Ah, yes, the Institute of Toy Research is not far at all from Lingju Pass. Now, Traveler, you're not the sort of person who would disappoint a kid now, are you? Ugh, the brothers are ganging up on us again! Oh, fine, we'll go! Here we are. Welcome to Liyue's Institute of Toy Research. Yeah, we're here! I can already hear the sounds of machinery inside. Awesome! What is this place? And how do you know about it? Based on my limited understanding, I believe this is one of Dottore's research facilities. Dottore is another one of the Fatui Harbingers. He loves tinkering with old things. It's a personal passion of his. So, he converted these ruins into a Ruin Guard research lab. Huh? So the Ruin Guards are built by the Fatui? No, they have much closer connections to the Abyss. So, strictly speaking, they're as much our enemies as anyone else's. We just do research, nothing more. As to why the Ruin Guards have been moving outside of this area recently, I can only imagine that he's gotten bored of playing around with them and has lost interest in this place. Wow, yet another Harbinger with a bad attitude. But at least this explains why you were totally okay with bringing Tusser here. Seems you did your homework ahead of time. Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. I actually have no idea what this place is like on the inside. Wait, so are you or are you not worried about your brother's safety? Of course I am. But no matter what the danger is, I will parry it. Isn't that what any older brother would do? Even Tusser understands that, now that he knows what he's fighting for. It's the very same reason that's been nestled in my own heart for so many years. What are you guys chatting about? Come on, let's go in! <laughs> All right, follow me. Brother, someone was saying that... Mr. Cyclops is a killing machine. Were they now? What a silly thing for them to say. And you shouldn't go repeating it either, Tusser. You're far too young to be talking about such violent topics. Yeah, I knew that they were lying anyways. Mr. Cyclops is here to defeat the bad guys and protect the world. He's my favorite toy. Right. With Mr. Cyclops around, the bad guys won't ever get you. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'm going to go play with Mr. Cyclops now. Hey, Tusser, wait up! 
The door is shut. Will Tusa be all right? There's another path over there. Let's move. Oh, the door opened. Was that you? That's right. But give me a moment over here, Tusser. I need to make sure that everything's safe. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have spoiled him quite so much. Tusser, see that big stone cube in front of you? I need your help. Yay! Do I really get to help my big brother out? You bet. Now I'll count down from three, and then we touch it together. Ready? Three, two, one. Huh. <sighs> Back together at last. You're not hurt, are you, Tusser? Hurt? No way. This is really fun. Fine for you, maybe. We were all scared to death. What's over there? Wow, this room is huge. Is this where Mr. Cyclops takes his friends when they come to visit? It is. Impressive, isn't it? Now, how about a little game of hide-and-seek? Huh? Now? <laughs> I have a surprise for you, you know. A surprise? Oh, what sort of surprise? Don't worry, you'll have the chance to look for it later. But before that, you have to close your eyes, turn around, and count down from 60. Okay, 60 is a really long time, though. <sighs> 60, 59, 58... There's not much time. Let's clear all these hazards out. 48, 47, 46, 45. Are you guys okay? What's all that crashing and banging? Don't worry, it's all part of the surprise. 30, 29, 28, 16, 12, 10. Hey, no cheating. You skipped a few numbers, you little rascal. <laughs> You notice. All right, all right. 15, 14, 13. This, this is everything I've ever dreamed of. It's Mr. Cyclops' world. Wow, he actually pulled it off. And the way he knocked those ruin guards around was like they really were kids' toys. But Paimon wonders if he'll be all right after using the Foul Legacy transformation again. Awesome! <laughs> Boy, if these Mr. Cyclopses weren't so big, I'd sure love to take one home. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd my brother go? Aren't you guys supposed to be playing hide-and-seek? Oh, that's right! I was so excited that I forgot all about our game. Well... Let's go look for him together, okay? It's a good thing that you two found me first. Looks like using the Foul Legacy transformation while I was still injured took more out of me than I thought. I have no idea what I'd do if Tusser saw me like this. Look at me, deflated as a burst balloon. <laughs> as I recall, you have siblings too, yes? I figured that you probably wouldn't take me out in front of my little brother. Really milking this situation, huh? Like I said, I can never pass on an opportunity to test my limits. And that's why I, Tartaglia, am always getting stronger. <laughs> anyway, childhood dreams are all too easily shattered. Even if you just leave them be, they will fall to pieces all by themselves. So someone has to protect them, right? If you make a promise... You keep it. If you make a mistake, you apologize. And if you give someone a dream, <clears throat> you defend it to the end. That is what family is all about, isn't it? <laughs> Remind you of something, did I? <coughs> Quit the tough guy act already. You need to see a doctor right away, mister. A fine suggestion, but first... I have a little something for Tusser. Please give it to him on my behalf. Huh? Is this... a Mr. Cyclops action figure? Indeed. I had made it to order by a smith some time back. I had intended to give it to him on my return to Snezhnaya. But it seems that it would make a better souvenir at this point. Wow. 
Now that Paimon thinks about it, Child's family are really lucky to have him, aren't they? <laughs> I'll also need you to explain my abrupt departure to Tusser. You'll help me out, won't you? <laughs> the cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Ah, that nursery rhyme brings back so many delightful memories. Tusser taught you that one, did he? All right, thank you. I can't find him anywhere. Where did he go? Really? Where is he? Yeah, so he had to leave in a real hurry. He didn't abandon you here on purpose. Oh, uh, well, that's great. But still, I was kind of hoping we could play here a little longer. Wow, look at this! I never knew that they made Mr. Cyclopses in this size! Look, it even has my name on it! It's my very own Mr. Cyclops! You're really loving it, huh? You bet! My brother is the best big brother ever! You had a tour of Leela, you met your brother, visited the Institute of Toy Research, and got yourself a souvenir! Now that's what we tour guides call the perfect trip. Do you think you're ready to head back to Snezhnaya now? <laughs> Don't worry. I know I can't get my way all the time. That'd just be annoying for everyone else. So, let's go. Sir, young Master Tusser, I've been waiting for you. Did Child send you? That's correct. Master Child instructed me to arrange for young Master Tusser's return trip. Please, come this way. Who are you? My big brother always tells me never to go off with strangers. But you've been following us around this whole time. Yeah, that's because I've known who you are all along. Um, what? My brother told us all about you in a letter he sent back home. Sister Tonia read it to me. I actually recognized you the moment I saw you. I just couldn't remember your name. What a strange twist of fate. <laughs> Young Master Tusser, the boat to Shneznaya will dock soon. We'd best prepare for boarding. Gee, time really flies when you're having fun. Well then, see you, Mr. Nice Guy. I'll wait for you back home. You definitely, definitely have to come visit Snezhnaya sometime. Pinky promise? You make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, Paimon throws you on the ice. The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. <laughs> it's a promise, then. Bye-bye, too, sir. Have a safe trip. Hey. Child? So you were here this whole time? What are you hiding for? Why didn't you come and say goodbye? Partings are special moments. If he spent his final moments in Liyue seeing me all haggard and weak like this, that's not a memory I want him to leave with. Still, it is a shame that I couldn't see him off by myself. <sighs> I should have been the one taking him back. I do have subordinates to escort him. But I still feel a little uneasy. Jeez, don't you think you've spoiled him enough already? <laughs> I can't quite explain it, but somehow I felt much more at ease leaving him in your care. And to think that not long ago we... Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Remuneration for your services, which I really couldn't have done without this time. Aha! So you do have a heart after all. One other thing. Don't forget our promise now. Let's have a rematch when we get the chance. This time, with my honor as a harbinger on the line. You best go rest up first. Don't come crying to us when you lose all over again. <laughs> Regardless of who wins or loses our next bout, I'd also like to invite you over to my home. I'll introduce you to my other siblings, Tonya and Anthon. They're great kids, and I'm very proud of them both. We'll take you up on that offer. Mostly because we already made a pinky promise to Tusser. Haha, <laughs> 
I'm sure that he'll be very excited to see you too. Well, that settles it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, farewell, my friends, till we meet again in Snezhnaya.